So let's read a story for today about one for you, one for me. A group of friends are raising funds to buy hygiene kits to give it to their neighbors and their barangay. They were able to collect 948 pesos. If there are five friends who contributed, how much did each give? Now, this kind of story problem, if we're going to analyze, we are going to divide. If, we, if, we, if they were able to collect 948 and there were five friends who contributed, then, and the question is how much did each give? So we, we divide 948 divided by five friends. Now for division keywords, we have um, evenly cut, split, each, every, average, equal parts, out of, ratio, or quotient. Those are some words used for division. Now, how do how to divide decimals or how do we divide? So in dividing, you divide the dividend to the divisor. So the 948, 948 divided by 5. So this is the dividend and this is the divisor. Next, so we are we are now answering the story problem of how much did each give now if there is still a digit to divide add decimal point and zero and continue dividing now let's divide first we have nine divided by five that's one let's multiply five so multiply and that's four subtract bring down four you bring down one by one Four, and then divide again repeat the process so 44 divide 5 it's 8 multiply it's 40 subtract again it's 4 bring down the 8 it's 8 again 48 divide 5 is 9 that's 45 there's a remainder 3 so in dividing decimals you need to uh, in the step in the in the step 2 the, if there's a still digit to divide, add decimal point to the dividend and add zero, then continue dividing. Okay, it's because there is um, the 948 is equals to 948.000. It doesn't change the value if if you're going to add a decimal point and the zero so it's the same then um you since there's a zero here you bring down the zero bring down the zero then we have 30 now we continue divide dividing so that is 30 divided by 5 is 6 then now step 3 put the decimal point in the quotient directly above decimal point in the dividend so since there's a decimal point there you put decimal point on top so we have six times five that is 30 no more remainder anymore but if there is still another remainder then you need to add another zero and then bring down zero and then you divide therefore the answer is um the last step would be add zeros to the dividend and continue dividing until, until there will be no remainder. So, we're done. There's no more remainder. Then, um, the answer is how much did each give? They give, each of them give 189 pesos and 60 centimes. If you want to check if the answer is correct, you can multiply 189. 60 times 5 then you will get 948 you if you will be able to get 948 then your answer is correct so that's how you check okay now the steps in dividing decimals to whole number so you can see here in the example 823.2 divided by 3 so it's whole number so to divide mixed decimals with whole numbers place the decimal point okay so let's write here 823.2 divided by 3 all you have to do is to place the decimal point directly above the decimal point in the dividend then 
um, let's divide now. Divide just like dividing whole numbers and add zeros to the dividend when needed. So 8 divided 3, it's 2 multiply. That's 6, 2 bring down 2, 27, 21, 1, 13, 4, 12, 1, then there's another 2, that was 4, that is 12. No more remainder, so no need to add zeros in the dividend because um, the answer is 274.4. Do not forget to align. If you're going to divide 8, you align it to the, the quotient on the top of the 8. If you're going to use 82, then you're going to align it properly to what digit are you dividing. Next, steps in dividing whole numbers to decimal numbers. We have here, for example, 135 divided by 0.34. So this time, the dividend is the whole number. And then, the, the divisor is a decimal number. Okay, take note that you cannot divide right away if the divisor is a decimal number. Here is the step. You need to change the divisor to a whole number. Okay, if, it, if the divisor is a decimal number, you need to move or to change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point and make this a whole number. So we have, if you're going to make it a whole number, so this will become... Oh, you move the decimal point, it becomes 4. It's a whole number now. Then, in the 135, you move the decimal point in the dividend to as many places as the decimal point in the divisor. Since you move one place, from the 135, the decimal point is here. You also move one. Move, so it, the decimal point is here, and then you add 0. Okay. So, so that the quotient will not get different answer so the new equation now is 1350 divided by 4 so if there are two digits here after the decimal point so you need to move two places then you move also two places okay so now let's divide we have 13 divided by 4 it's 2 3 sorry it's 12 1 15 that is um 3 12, so that is 3, bring down 0, then it's 7, 28, there's a remainder 2, if, again if there's a remain, remainder, add zeros to the dividend when needed, do not just add zeros right away, if you're going to add 0, the, the value of the div dividend will become 13,500. But if you're going to put zero here, the decimal point, since here's the decimal point, then it doesn't change the value, it's still 1350. Then add, put the decimal point on top of the decimal point here, then you bring down the zero, continue dividing, 20 divide 4, that's 5. So the answer is 337.5. Now let's have more examples. What is the value of n in the equation? 453 divided by 2. Okay. So let's divide 2, 4. This is multiplication. This is subtraction. 0, that's 5. 2, 4, 1, 13. That is 6. 12, there's a remainder 1. What you're going to do, you add the decimal point here. Add the decimal point on top of the decimal point and add 0. Just so that it will not change the value, you need to add a single point and put the zero here, then continue dividing. That's 5. 5 times 2, it's 10. So no more remainder. Then the answer is 226.5. sorry. Okay, next. What is 550.32 divided by 6? So 550.32 divided by 6. The divisor is a whole number, so no need to move the decimal point. You just have to put the decimal point on top of the decimal point, then divide. 
5 divided 6, you cannot, uh, that's 0. Let's use 55 divided 6, that is 9. Align it to the, uh, the second 5, because we're using 55. It's 54, it's 1, bring down 0. 10 divided 6 is 1, that's 6. This is 4, bring down 3, that is 7. 42, 1, and then bring down 2. You bring down 1 by 1. There. Okay, and then bring down 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. That is 12. Subtraction. Then 12 minus 12 is 0. No more remainder. Therefore, the answer is 91.72. Next, what is the quotient of 962.5 divided by 7? Quotient is the answer in division. So, 962.5 divided by 7. First, add a decimal point on top of the decimal point in the dividends. We have 1, 7, 2, bring down 6. That is 3, 21, 5, bring down 2. That is 7, 49, subtract. We have 3, then bring down 5. So 35 divide 7, that's 5. 5 then 7, that's multiplication. So we have 35, no more remainder. So the answer is 137.5. Next, what is 645 divided by 0 0.06? So in this given problem, the divisor is a decimal number. You, you cannot divide right away if it's a decimal number for the divisor. Make this a whole number first by moving two places. One, two. So you move two places to make it a whole number. So it becomes six now. And from the 645, the decimal point of the whole number is at the end. So you also move two. So we have one, two. One, two zeros. Here's now the decimal point. So the new equation is... 64,500, there's a decimal point, divided by 6. Add a decimal point on top, then divide, 6, 6, 0, 4. Bring down 1. 4 divided by, four divided by 6 cannot be. So 4 divided by 6, do not just put 5 over here because you only bring down 1 at a time. So that is 0. Then 0, 4. Bring down 5, that's 45, time, divided by 6, that is um, 7. So we have 42, then 3, bring down 0, that is 3, that is 5, then that's 30, no more remainder. This can we end there because there is no remainder here? No, because there is still zero in the dividend that you did not bring down yet, even though it's zero. So you bring down zero, then you divide again, just put zero, zero, zero. Until there will be no remainder, then the answer is 10,750.